Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Excuse me. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Star with the temperance. Somebody, um, somebody worried about balance coming in. Somebody didn't know how connected somebody was, and they're worried about balance coming in somebody is truly connected somebody is a healer somebody is truly connected somebody is a healer somebody brings balance somebody brings hope somebody is truly a star energy but also like an angelic energy and somebody is worried about things coming into balance here Somebody is worried because somebody is really, truly, divinely protected. And somebody tried to cause some form of um, instability for somebody here. Somebody tried to throw this person off. And they're worried, two of pentacles with the nine of swords, about things coming into balance for what they have done. They also... They also worried about the thoughtless and careless and, and foolish things that they did spread and see. Whoever this is is worried about the truth getting out about what they was doing and what they did. They don't want that to spread around. They don't want it to travel around. The thoughtless, careless shit that they did, the truth about them. The truth about what they were so passionate about doing here. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. I mean, Seven of Wands. Well, it was the Seven of Swords. This ain't even the Seven of Swords. Listen, whoever this was was in Seven of Swords energy. They was a liar, uh, did underhanded things, backstab, betrayed. But they did it sneakily, though. This is a fucking coward, whoever this feminine is. So this person don't want to talk about the past. They don't want it spread in the truth about them and the things that they was passionate about doing, about trying to put people in the five of pentacles energies, wanting people to be isolated, stealing and taking people energy and also doing things for greed here, four of pentacles and attacking other people, seven of wands. See, they don't want that shit to be known. They don't want the truth about their whole ass risky ass behavior and who they was out here fucking on. Because this person was fucking on some of their friends' people. Or fucking on their friends. So this person don't want it to be out about them and what the fuck they've been doing. They don't want the truth to be spreaded about what they was doing here. About who they was having sex with. About the risky behavior that they was taking against their own people. Because this person was doing this to their own friends. They don't want that shit to get out.
this person was taking a risk with the friend to do shit. They don't want that shit coming out. And this is what they so worried about. The balance coming in for everything that they was doing behind the scenes. All of the attacks, all of the risky ass shit. The, oh, the seven of swords, there it go. There go the seven of swords. It was a couple of them. It ain't just one person. It's a couple of them, or they lied to an emperor. King of Cups, they backstabbed and betrayed the King of Cups. For opportunity here. Yeah, somebody was in competition with this King of Cups here. Tried to cause chaos in his life because they was jealous. They wanted this person to miss the opportunity with the Ace of Cups. They wanted this person to miss an opportunity on actual love, something that was divine. That's what they wanted. But these people about to get karma for it, though. <laughs> they, could, they could bet that. They could bet that. You're going to get karma for it. Whoever this king, it's all these friends. Here go three. The Queen of Swords, King of Wands, and the Emperor. All shysty. These people are friends or family with one another. But they getting karma because some shit about to change here. And they about to be having to go through ongoing battles here. For who they was going against. Because it's known. It, they tried to keep it a secret. This demonic stuff that they was doing here. We got karmic family members too as well. Karmic family members and friends involved in whatever this is. And they don't want it to get around about the things that they be doing. Because they be doing the seven of swords. And they done did something. A, 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 a man here. And they don't want that sneaky ass shit. They don't want it. To, they don't want this person to know that they actually an enemy. Because it's going to change things. The will of fortune. See, this is what they was doing the shit before for anyway. Because they didn't want things to change. They want things to be how they want it to be. So these just controlling ass friends and family. Could be a lying ass father. Two. Backstabber, deceiver, or somebody at Aries, or somebody just a father, they got kids, or a kid. There's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep, they was a part of these ongoing battles here. <laughs> Everybody was against somebody, calling them the devil. Whole time is them. Projection much? These family and friends was trying to say that somebody else was the devil, but it was them the entire time. Taking risks, lying, backstabbing, betraying, being passionate about horn hunt confirmation, being passionate about doing this bullshit with wanting somebody to be left out in the cold or wanting somebody to be stripped, wanting somebody to be blocked off, wanting somebody to, you know, keep their energy from another person, don't be around another person, don't mess with them. They attacking you, and the whole time it's these fuckers. The whole time it's the friends and the family, though. <laughs> they all gonna get karma, though. Eight of Swords, because this is superficial. These are superficial-ass friends and family. 
that are unawakened and they might end up outcasted. Eight of Cups. They outcasted by the divine. But do, they gonna get walked away from these people. They was all in a group calling they so trying to get justice uh, themselves with these ongoing battles that they was doing here. But because yeah, these friends and family they don't even recognize that they created a whole fucking coven. With this lying, deceitful ass bullshit with them being uh teaming up together. These people will celebrate together a lot. Somebody also lied about some sort of reconciliation, like they reconciled with somebody or like they, um, or like somebody told somebody, you know, as far as somebody wanting to reconcile, they lied. Whoever this masculine is. Some of these people going to be going to jail. You're going to see some of these family members and friends going to jail. Or being in and out of jail, you are gonna see them go through things mentally. But it's all it's all spiritually because of what how where their hearts was, where their minds was. Because they was also told to walk away. They was told to walk away by the divine because the truth and justice was gonna fucking come out, and they decided not to walk away from it. They wanted to keep on battling and keep going on with doing stuff to this Empress energy, keep going against them. Keep taking action towards them. There was also um, a mother figure, either it's either a mother figure, somebody that was pregnant, a mother figure, somebody that was pregnant. who kept trying to battle somebody else, kept trying to go against somebody else. Knight of Swords. This person kept trying to attack a divine feminine, a high priestess, calling them the devil here. This person was obsessed. This whole entire family, and this whole entire unit was obsessed here. Karmic. They were trying to say that this high priestess was the devil here, but no, the devil with the Ten of Pentacles, the family. They tried to say this high priestess was the materialistic one, was the one that was the, the cheat and uh, the Luciferian energy and shit. But the whole time it was all of these, it was all of these friends and family. Let's clarify. You know, I like to make show. Was it this high priestess that was the the devil, the Luciferian energy? No. Was it these friends and family that was in this karmic energy? doing risky stuff with a lies, deceit, backstabbing, and betrayal here. Yes. See, the karmics were the people that somebody was laying a foundation down with. See, these, these this family wanted their wishes fulfilled. So they was willing to make some spiritual sacrifices, the hermit to the hangman, to cause loss, to cause separation, and all of that. To balance things out in their favor so that they could be given to. Some of these people, you're going to see them end up getting sick. 
jail, laid to rest, depressed. Because these people are going to be defeated. It definitely is change coming. Four of swords, five of cups, five of swords. What you're going to see within this family and friend unit is people going in and out of jail. People feeling defeated because these people was jealous and this was hate. People being depressed. Some people losing their life. People in and out of the hospital. This is what you're going to see. For exactly the instability that these people tried to cause another. They tried to cause a star. Temperance energy. All of this. And whoever this king of cups is. So for them doing that. They're going to suffer the consequences. We've seen we the will of fortune. They're going to get karma for it. Because they had no business doing it. But then they wanted to call somebody else the devil though. But see. Confirmation. But see. They was the secret devils though. With the high priestess. That's what that represents. Whoever they was calling the devil ain't even necessarily got to be a high priest. They could be somebody wise with a lot of knowledge. Somebody who has been restored. Or they can be a high priestess. But they was trying to demonize this person. But the whole time they were it. They were the ones who was materialistic. They was the ones who was facing addiction. They was the ones with the secrets. They was the ones with the sorcery. They was the ones cheating and lying and backstabbing and deceiving, but they tried to put it all on the divine feminine. How'd that work? See, they was doing their little devilish shit in secret. And then trying to show up as happy friends and family and shit. Doing shit, selfish shit for their own satisfaction. Making spiritual sacrifices, causing heartbreak and loss just so that they can be given to. Doing things for other people. People was putting money. It was money exchanged in hand. And energy. Now, these individuals don't want it to be spread it or get around about the things that they were doing. The secret things that they was doing. They don't want it to be known. But it was okay to all try to put it on the divine feminine, though. It wasn't with the friends or the family or the group or the clique. The coven. It was all okay to put it, put it on that person, though. But y'all don't want it to be known everything that y'all was doing. And y'all don't want to be outcasted or walked away from. But y'all wanted it for somebody else. Ain't that a, ain't that a blimp? Ain't that something? Look, ultimate betrayal, ten of swords. With these offers that they was making. Ultimate betrayal. But these people, this is, these people, this also shows these people are going to be the dead end for the offers that they was making. Yes, they are. They was making offers. See, they, they, they backstabbed and ultimately betrayed somebody who offered love. They was kind. They was gentle. Like,
They didn't want somebody dating somebody. So they came up with a plan. And they were, they were successful in their plan. Because it sure enough ended the world. They didn't want somebody dating with somebody or talking to somebody. A queen of cups. So this is why. The, so this the ten of swords. All that. Well, five of swords plus the ten of swords. Fifteen swords. <laughs> Whatever plan they came up with, though, with the chariot, it definitely changed the direction because the world, that's, and that's endings. They talk shit, petty gossip. Watch this person. They wanted this person, like, I'm telling you, they wanted this person will be in the die. Like, just this person, just die off. <laughs> like, just die off. But now what's going to happen is these people are going to watch. They're going to they're gonna see what that shit feel like, what they wanted for another. They're going to watch somebody else's well-being and their wellness fucking transition. They're going to see an ending. They gonna see your ending. Slowly too. And then these people even, <laughs> these people call on somebody else or want it or have some exciting news about another lover for this person to talk to and deal with here to cause a tower. <laughs> Ooh, I ain't never seen, I mean, talk about pet tea to cause a tower. Good news about somebody else here to cause some sort of tower. Something about another lover. Manipulation, a magician. Something about a Gemini, a Aries Leo, Sagittarius, or a Scorpio. Yeah, won't you, won't you? That look like a good look, won't you? Uh, won't you partner up with them? Won't you partner up with them? You know, team up with them, work with them. Block that other person out. Block that other person out. This 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 right here look like um something you can sell off with here with the ten of swords. You should team up and work with this person. <laughs> anybody but whoever this other person was. Anybody besides this high, this high priest, this queen of cups. Anybody but them. That should tell you something.
So team up, work with them. Somebody could have even got somebody pregnant. Two as well. Anybody but the person with the vision and the knowledge that can restore shit. Anybody but this high priestess, queen of cups, star, temperance energy. Yeah, that's just that says a lot. Yeah, work with them. Y'all could build something, you know, manifest something. I see, I see you with a future with them, whoever this is. That's where you get a victory at. Not even seeing the Ten of Wands. Because that's what the fuck they going to get. Because that person ain't it either. This is sad. <laughs> Somebody got some sad ass friends and a sad ass family. For sure. Sad ass friends, sad ass fucking family. Ought to be ashamed of their fucking self. Moon, deception, hidden intention. Deception and hidden intention. I'm, I got to pull. Blood thicker than water, question mark. Sad ass family and sad ass friends. <laughs> Possessive and obsessive. Confirmation. They sad as fuck. Deceptive ass people. Fucking haters of a clique full of family and friends full of fucking haters. Superficial hoes. Superficial manipulative hoes. Hanging with the ops. These friends and family is ops. Hanging with the ops. They hang with the ops. See, look. It came out. Soul family is the true family. Because this ain't it. Info leaking. Telling business. That's all they do. Sit around and talk about each other. They need to go to fucking therapy. Talk to a, a therapist. Murder plots. They gonna watch a transition, all right. Hater alert. <laughs> I ain't bullshit. Y'all probably be like, man, she be talking shit. No, no, no. I mean, I do. I add in. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I put that little seasoning on it. But no, this is what it really be. This is what I be seeing. This is what the fuck I be looking at. Sad ass shit. Deceptive ass motherfucking people. Ignorant ass motherfucking people. See, they, and then these people will try to demonize the divine, but no, that's who they be shying away from. Who they try to outcast and isolate the fucking light. Because all of they raggedy asses is in the darkness. Doing raggedy shit. And this is why these people don't want this shit to be out or spread it around. Because this is what the fuck they do. See, they wouldn't be worried about the shit getting out or being spread it around about what the fuck they be doing. If they wasn't doing nothing. They always like to borrow but never pay back. It'd be all to the good. Arguments, drama, fights. Competition. Somebody could be out of town here. We have competition. These people was talking down but don't even know somebody here. Saying that they was poor. Like I said, superficial as fuck. But they the ones with the rotten souls. Doing rotten, risky trifling, funky, stinky ass shit to get they fucking way. 
but want to talk down on somebody else about what they do or don't have about their status in the world not worried about their own fucking status top of the deck judgmental Some of them could be thinking about healing wounds. If I got it, we got it. Let's heal these wounds. Uh, say stuff like that, but then still be judgmental at the end of the day. Judgmental as fuck. snitching somebody telling somebody snitching because somebody somebody was taken up for somebody behind their back they said we'll get through this together and then these people be catfishing somebody here says cat why catfish me that's a little weird these people bark party and bullshit. These friends is karmically connected. Watch your back. Also, like what just ran across my mind is like sometimes people be thinking that I be being mean or I be like being harsh or whatever the case may be, but no, it be the energy. I can feel the energy. Yeah. I, I'm a tarot reader, a high priestess, if you will. Yeah, I read cards and stuff like that, but I can also feel the energy. And this is bad energy. Well, I ain't gonna say bad. I'm gonna say this is rotten energy. So, this is what you get. I have the gift to feel too. Deeply. So I'll be being harsh. This is some harsh energy. Harsh ass people. Harsh ass friends and family that don't mind being ignorant. So they shouldn't mind that energy being returned. Because I mirror it back. What's the signs involved? This could be uh, your sign, day sign, or the sign of um, that masculine. We have an Aries. We have a Libra, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Cancer, an Aquarius. A Virgo, a Leo, and a Sagittarius, Gemini at the bottom.
Aries, Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini. These is the signs in these people's chart. Family, friends. Yours or the mask ones. Possibly. We're going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for because regardless of whatever occurs, regardless of who anybody choose to date, regardless of the, because they do seem like these people, these, these people did in the cycle. So regardless of if these people get their wishes granted or not, they're still going to suffer the consequences of their actions. So hopefully they enjoy the karma that goes along with their right and ass decisions because they will still be had regardless of the outcome. You got to pay the fucking ticket. You gonna pay that ticket. And they got a cut. They got a whole bill with their name on it. You gonna pay that ticket, Karma. And for the uh, people that was in inflicted, joy is the simplest form of gratitude. You make me glad by your deeds, Yahweh. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yahweh will keep you from all harm. Yeah, you don't got nothing to worry about with these people. <laughs> Confirmation. Open your mouth and taste. Open your eyes and see how good Yahweh is. We thank you, O Yahweh. We give thanks because you are near. Never miss an opportunity to see anything that is beautiful. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Yahweh makes his people strong and Yahweh gives his people peace. In him our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love rest upon us. Yahweh is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. Yahweh has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. So I hope you all got a message from this read. I am going to make it an 18 plus read because I was cussing. I hope y'all all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.